So this is my first live broadcast of our ecosystem in a bottle. This is Kelly Cassidy. I am one of the teachers at Madison County High School, which is in Danielsville, Georgia. And we have been selected and are honored to be one of the recipients of the STEM grant for the state of Georgia, which is science, technology, engineering, and math. And we are working right now to incorporate more technology to reach out to our elementary schools as part of our STEM elementary outreach. This is our ecosystem in a bottle at the high school. This was set up by the environmental science classes as a connection point to be able to communicate and correspond with our elementary schools, which we are going out and also setting up ecosystems in a bottle um, at their locations. So ideally, uh, we are hope you are visiting us from maybe one of the elementary schools in Madison County and you are viewing your ecosystem in a bottle in your classroom and you're seeing how it changes each and every day. And we are going to broadcast live periodically and show you how our ecosystem here at the high school is changing and how it is developing and how our critters are doing and how our plants are doing. Um, hopefully we will be broadcasting some information from our veneer probeware to show you our carbon dioxide consumption and production and our oxygen consumption and production. We'll also look at maybe humidity and show you how the water cycle is working inside the bottle. Right now as you see um, it is just day one so all we have is we have a little couple little plants in here and we also have um, you can see these little specks on the ground and those are actual um, seeds that are from our um, grass that we have planted so that's there and there's another little plant right there and so now we are just going to be observing and waiting to see what's going to occur in our bottle um, there are some worms down in the soil some earthworms and we will be adding as the grass starts to grow we will be adding um, some other critters and grasshoppers and other little insects to the bottle to be part of our ecosystem the ecosystem stays closed off 90 percent of the time to maintain a closed system and allow the ecosystem to thrive the only time we do open the bottle is when we're testing for carbon dioxide or oxygen and we do that extremely quickly we try to we have a port where we open the port, stick the carbon dioxide sensor in the port, and then close the port. So a total of about five seconds. Um, hopefully we are not compromising the system. Um, by doing so, we just haven't come up with a better way to measure our carbon dioxide and oxygen and our other sensors that we'd like to use. We're also looking at um, behavior of the animals and the way that they correspond and talk to each other inside the ecosystem. Um, we're looking at maintain, maintenance of the ecosystem and maintaining that environment so that um, all the organisms that are there can thrive. So thank you for joining us. Um, not much is happening today, but please tune back in and check back, and we will hopefully have more exciting things for you in the future. Thanks.